Hello and welcome to our open night presentation for 2021. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to our team. My own name is Pori Cawley and I'm the school principal. And our deputy principals are Aoife Denton, Brendan Cahill and Anne Hennebury. In this slide, we get, see an overall picture of our school campus and more notably at the back, our most recent extension to the school. This extension, which was opened last year, gives us three science labs, two home economics room, an additional music room, computer and a technology room, along with 10 general classrooms to add to our already impressive facilities, which are on offer here at Art School Namara. A brief history of, about our school. Our school has come about as an amalgamation of the Christian Brothers School, the CBS School in Tremor, and the Stella Maris School. The school is now under the Edmund Rice Schools Trust, and we opened our doors for Ardskull Namara in September 2014. Ardskull Namara is committed to our mission statement, which is developing the full potential of each student in a welcoming and Christian atmosphere, while developing a school community which is supportive of self-esteem and promotes freedom coupled with a sense of responsibility. responsibility. The Edmund Rice Schools Charter, which is explained in more detail in our school video, nurtures faith, promotes partnership, ex has excellence in teaching, creates community and inspires leadership. We are very proud of the way our student voice is accommodated here in Ardskull Namara. Our head boy for this year is Harry Smith, head girl Anya Power, deputy head girl Aoife Gaffey, and deputy head boy Fionn Kiley. We also have a very active student council. We have a huge range of prefects, you'll see there in the photograph, and also class presidents, which all combined give our students a huge voice and say in how our school is run. We also encourage the voice of parents and our reps on the Board of Management at the moment, the parents reps are Jenny Evans and Paul Weldon, and they are doing a huge work on behalf of the parents on our Board of Management. Our Parents Association is very active and the elections for the current year are underway at the present. The objectives from our mission statement underpin everything that we do at Ardskull Namara. And if we were to summarize them, we'd say that We'd like to ensure that your son or daughter will be safe and secure, that they make friends and enjoy school, and very importantly, that they achieve their full academic potential and become active members of their own community. We focus on three main areas to achieve this, teaching and learning, pastoral care and ethos, and extracurricular and co-curricular activities. Let's take a few moments to look at the school curriculum. At junior cycle, that's for years one to three, the core subjects are maths, English, Irish and history, geography, science, religious education, CSPE, SPHE and physical education. What we call our optional subjects are business studies, art, French, Spanish, home economics, music, technology, materials technology, wood and technical graphics and metalwork. While a senior cycle, the core subjects are Maths, English, Irish, Religious Education, SPHE and Physical Education. And then we have a broader range then of optional subjects, including Geography, History, French, Spanish, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Applied Maths, Construction Studies, Engineering, Technology, Design and Communication Graphics, Accounting, Economics, Business, art, music, agricultural science, and home economics. The junior cycle reform, which we've been working on over the last number of years, involves some key skills, and all of our subjects work to ensure that these key skills are included in the curriculum. And these are being literate, managing myself, staying well, managing information and thinking, being numerate, being creative, working with others and communication. The transition year programme, and this falls in our fourth year, is an optional uh, 
programme we run in the school. The enrolment is based generally on um, an interview process, but we also take into account the student's behaviour and their attendance record in school. They also have to submit a written application uh, prior to the interview. The curriculum is based on a holistic approach, but there are a huge amount of different areas of expertise, uh, including the core subjects that the students become involved in. So it really is a year that allows students to flourish. We also work with the local community. We have parish and community work, work experience. Mini business are just some of the areas that the students become involved in. Out in this slide, we can see a variety of the different activities that our transition year students have been involved in in the past. Many of the activities are fun-based and a lot of their learning is, some of it is outdoor and uh, combined with that work that we do in the classroom. This slide gives an overview of how our students achieved in the Leaving Cert 2021 by comparison with the 2020 national averages. And a point to note is that in the band of 400 to 600 points, our students achieved much higher than the national average. And you can see that we compared favorably in all of the other categories. From a recent WSE report, the following items were commended by the team of inspectors that visited our school. They were, we were commended on the quality of teaching and learning throughout the school, the use of digital technologies by our teachers, the creative classroom layouts and desk arrangements which were employed. They particularly noted the peer assessment and the review of learning intentions in classes and also our system of academic tracking and monitoring they said were very, very comprehensive and also which we were particularly proud of the care structures that were in place for our students. When we speak about the care structures in place, we look at our support systems. So first of all, we have our year heads and we have one appointed per year group and they're responsible for academic behavior and pastoral care. We also have our class tutors. The class tutors are part of the wellbeing program and they focus specifically on the pastoral care of our students. Our guidance counselors are assigned one to each class and they offer counseling and support uh, when needed. They're also timetabled for career guidance classes with a number of the year groups. Our prefects, of which we're very proud of, uh, representatives from each of the class groups, and they offer a big brother type of assistance to many of the first year students coming in. And this has been a hugely successful program over the last number of years. Our student council, which I referred to earlier on for student voice, have representatives from each of the year groups and some very, very important uh, policies and decisions that are made around the school are always, they always come through the student council and we look for their opinion in particular before we progress with any of our ideas. Our care team meetings, which are held every three to four weeks, are very important because at these meetings, if a teacher has any concern whatsoever about a student in their class, they can bring that forward to the year head. And along with the team at that time, their concerns are discussed and we look to put supports in place for those that are mentioned. Obviously, if there's something of grave concern, uh, we contact the parents and parents are made aware of any interventions or assistance that we're help, uh, working on in our school. How we recognize student achievement. Well, this is, this is the compliment card system and it has um, really progressed over the last number of years by students obtaining positive points, by doing uh, different good deeds in their classroom, by working hard in their classes, producing very good homework and so on, and teachers award the positive points. So we have compliments cards that are awarded to the students when they gain 10 points or more. And these happen on Fridays and they have hot chocolate and other treats uh, at these presentations. There are also school prizes where students achieve 20 plus points. And as I said, the positive points parties are a huge part of the celebration on Fridays. We also um, recognize sporting achievement uh, and where the, this happens, names are 
mentioned on the intercom announcements on a daily basis and recognition on group notice boards and on our Twitter uh, website and so on uh, where we give re recognition for achievement in a wide variety of extracurricular and curricular activities. Here are some of the photographs of activities that have taken place in the past and those of you that um, follow our Twitter account will see that we have very, very active um, extracurricular activities and our students are involved in a huge range of different. Now we'll have a look at some of the Erst Ethos in initiatives. Ard School Namara, as mentioned earlier on, is proud to engage in activities that reflect the Edmund Rice Schools Trust and these activities are not limited to but do include community care, involvement in the Peace and Justice Group, St Vincent de Paul locally, ERBB, which is an international group of Edmund Rice schools. Uh, they're in South America, uh, Africa and Australia, and of course India. And many of our students are involved in, apart from the immersion trips, also in communication with via email with students from these schools in the different continents. The John Paul Awards, John Paul II Awards, of which we've been involved with now for a number of years. We have a proud tradition of involvement there and, of course, a huge links with our local parish in the first instance. And many of our students have made such a significant contribution to the parish and are still involved there and doing great work. And finally, the Gashka Initiative. And uh, it's a long-standing tradition in both schools prior to the amalgamation, the involvement of students in giving back to the community and learning new skills. And it's an initiative, particularly in transition year, where students enjoy being involved and the rewards that they gain from it. Here again are some photographs of our students involved in Edmund Rice Schools Trust activities. And also some other photographs of extracurricular activities taking place and have taken place in the past. Moving on to our code of behaviour. Um, this is designed to create an atmosphere where your child can flourish in a safe and secure environment. Three important elements of this are that we don't allow mobile phones to be used in the school. And uh, it is and it does give a health break from all the elements of social media. And for the most part, students at first mightn't be that happy but overall, I think that when you notice the students in the school chatting to one another uh, without their phones, as they might be at, have them at home or on the street when they're out with their friends, is a welcome sight. It also affords them time to focus on their studies and be more attentive in class. The uniform is very important and one that has been developed in conjunction with the Student Council and the Parents Council over the years. It creates a sense of identity and also security. And we look forward and are always pleased to see our, our students wearing it with pride, particularly when they represent the school at sporting uh, games and at other events. Students are not permitted to leave the school without parents signing them out. So from first to fifth year, no students are allowed to leave the school at lunchtime. However, at sixth year, in sixth year, students can leave school at lunchtime if they have what we call a lunch pass, which is permission from their parent to allow them to leave the school. At all other times to leave the school, students will need permission from their parents, as I'm sure you can understand is very important. So in each of our classrooms and prior to entry into Art School Namara, we distribute uh, information on the items that are available for both our PE and our mainstream uniform, both boys and girls, and a huge selection to choose from uh, for both boys. The application process to enrol in Art School Namara is currently open. Application forms are available from the front office on request or from down to download from our school website www.artschoolnamara.ie. Please note that completed application forms to enrol must be returned to the school office before Friday the 19th of November 21 at 1 p.m. So the following slide shows the details for our front office, the phone number, the email address 
office at ordskullnamara.ie, which we'd encourage you to use if it's a situation where you cannot get through or the phones are busy. Our website has huge information. It's updated very regularly. Our Twitter account is very regularly used and <clears throat> again gives an update of the wide range of activities and events that our students are, are representing us in. The school uh, app is something that we've um, initiated in the last year and it's available to download. And the code for the Art School Namara app is ASNM in capitals. And finally, the email address for our parents association is there, a Gmail account. And we'd encourage you to make contact with the parents association to become involved, get involved in the school that your son or daughter is attending. And finally, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to go through these slides and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.